Hi everybody, tennis coach Robert here with Carl Bo Tennis. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the contact point. Okay, so where the ball and the racket connects. So that motion happens so quick that we have to be very careful about what happens just before and just after the contact point. So when the racket is going and is swinging from the back court in particular, depending on how fast the racket goes, the shorter the time the ball is going to be on the strings. So the ball is going to go there for a millisecond. Okay, it's going to come very quickly. So when we come here, we are going very fast. And as it's going very fast, the ball is going to hit the strings. And just so you know, when the ball hits the strings, a couple of interesting things happen. The strings actually go back and act like a, like a slingshot. Goes back and pushes the ball forward. Okay, so it bends. And the ball also is going to flatten out and push forward. Okay. But this happens so quickly, we can't really see it. But when we hit the ball, we need to make sure and we have the contact. So the contact point, we're going to talk specifically in this video about the forehand. We want to have that contact point out in front here. Okay? So the contact point is in front so that we can go ahead and use our body to hit the ball. Because if we're back here, we're not going to use all the proper mechanics. So you can see my video where I'm punching David. And you can look at that video and you can see how we use the body to go ahead and, 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 and um, get power using the legs and, and all the different body parts. But specifically today, we're going to talk about the contact point. So the contact point is going to be in this area right here. Okay. So when we have the contact point here, after we hit the ball here, remember it's happening very quickly. So when you're driving a, a car and you're going very fast, small movements are going to make big changes. I'm going 100 miles an hour and I do a little turn like this, the car is going to go this way. And if it, it goes, turns a little bit like this, before you know it, I'm on the other side of the road. Okay? So we've got to be very careful. The faster we go, the more we have to be careful in terms of our steering. Now, if I go ahead and I'm driving 100 miles an hour and I do this, the car will more than likely roll. So that's a big problem. But when we're hitting the ball and the ball is coming at a fast pace, when we strike the ball, and we move over a little bit this way. So I come and I'm striking the ball this way. And just before I strike the ball and, 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 and hit it, or just after, pardon me, my racket goes a little bit this way towards the side because I'm ready to rotate. Because I don't rotate fast enough, the ball is going to go that way. Even though I intend for the ball to go that way. So I come here, I hit the ball, bop, goes this way, over here. I'm going to use this um, teaching device so you can see. So I have this. Um, this teaching device here, this pointer. So when I go ahead and wherever this thing is pointing, that's where the ball is going to go. So once I hit the ball in this spot, the ball is going to go this way. If it moves ever so slightly, it's going to go that way. And again, it's, be very careful when you're rotating your body, okay? Because you want to make sure that you're able to guide the ball into the right spot. You can watch my other video on using your hand to guide the ball into the right spot. So we get here, hit the ball, and we're off by a little bit because we over-rotate a little bit too quickly, or we're late and we use the hands in particular. This the hand thing is going to, or the, the hand is going to change it, and the ball is going to go into the wrong spot. So when you're hitting the ball, after you hit it, we want to make sure that we strike the ball in the right contact point, and then we continue to follow in the direction of the ball before we go across. So we want to be 100% sure that the ball is going into the right spot. The same thing actually happens when you throw a ball. So when you throw the ball, the ball goes and the hand goes, follows the ball first before it goes across. And we want to do the same thing here where we're hitting this forehand. We hit the ball here, we continue forward, 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 as far forward, I'm 100% sure the ball is going to go, and then we go across. And again, the other video where I talk about using my hand, I'm guiding my hand to that target. And sometimes you will see, um, not sometimes, you will see professional tennis players sometimes, when they have contact, you see just after the contact, you see uh, videos of them or, or pictures where they hit the ball and they're way out here. Okay, they hit the ball here, but then they continue to make sure that ball is going straight. So you see this motion here. They're not hitting the ball here, the ball is struck here, but after they hit it, it's almost like the road runner. The racket continues forward in the direction of the target. Okay? And when you're hitting a tennis ball, you should 
always have a target in mind. You should never just hit a tennis ball, okay? That's one thing that we do here, we talk about, is that you have to have a plan. You need to know if you're gonna hit the ball into a specific area. That's the tactic. Then we do the technical part, figure out how to make the ball get to that spot. And then we do the movement to get into the right spot so that we can do this. And then of course we repeat it uh, and with uh, doing it over and over with success and that's the mental. So when you're going ahead and you know I'm a big fan of shadowing, you go ahead and you shadow and you get through it, hit the ball, go forward and across. Now when you're doing this, please don't stop at the contact point because you want the contact point to be fluid. You want to go ahead, go slowly. You can even go in a Tai Chi movement and go forward. And imagine that you're actually hitting the ball, seeing the ball, and the ball is going straight. In this case, I'm using the alley. Okay, I'm a big fan of hitting balls in the alley. So we get into the spot. We guide the ball to go forward. The contact point is here again. We're going forward. Hitting topspin, we're going to go under the ball, and we're still going to guide the ball into the right spot to make sure we're hitting the ball straight. So I thank you so much for tuning in today. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing it. It helps us out. And um, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and uh, appreciate all the comments that you folks leave and any suggestions on videos in the future will be greatly appreciated. I'm doing these things to, to help you guys out there. And again, thank you so much for tuning in and taking the time to do this. For more information on Carbo Tennis, visit www.carbotennis.com. If you wish to email Coach Robert, please do so at robert at carbotennis.com or visit his Facebook page at www.facebook.com forward slash carbotennis. Tennis for the people. This video was an ADCI LLC production and was filmed at the North Pinellas YMCA located in Palm Harbor, Florida.